What's up guys, Alex with iTech Triad. In this video, we're gonna show you three very simple steps to keep your Galaxy S3 running smooth. So nobody likes to have any lag on their device. And these three steps are very quick steps that you can take to keep your S3 running smooth and fluid. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step is actually really easy. All you wanna do is tap and hold the home button which will bring up all our apps running in the background. We then wanna hit that little X button there to the bottom right corner, and that will close all our apps running in the background, which doesn't have us using so much of this device's power, which keeps it running nice and smooth. Now the next step actually requires a little more. What we're gonna do is open up settings. We're then gonna scroll down to application manager. We'll then tap on that, and it's gonna bring us to our downloaded uh, all our apps have been downloaded. What we then want to do is open up an application that we might have used previously, for example, Chrome. We want to open that, then go down to cache, and we want to clear the cache. What that does is it frees up memory from the device, and which in turn keeps the device running smoother. So we then want to do that again to any other apps that we have there on that downloaded list, clear the cache, and it keeps everything running smooth. Now, a quick side note, if you have any apps that you haven't used, for example, in the past month or the past two months and it's sitting there on your device, you're going to want to go ahead and delete it because if you're not going to be using it, it's taking up space on your device, which if you delete it, it'll keep your device running smoother. So you don't want to have so many apps that you're not using. If you're using it, that's all good. But if you're not using it, delete it, clear up that memory so your device is running smooth. And our final and last step is powering off and powering on the device. Now you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with keeping my device running smooth? Well, what it does is it refreshes the RAM, which in turn again keeps your device running smooth and fluid. Now I try to follow at least this step once a day, but sometimes we forget. But if you notice your device is not running smooth or it's acting up, be sure to follow this step and the previous steps and you'll probably notice that your device will be running much smoother than it was beforehand. Now on a quick side note, I just want to mention, uh, it's also good to have your stock launcher on your device. Um, here I'm using TouchWiz. The reason is because it just runs so much smoother than the ones you can download for it. The stock launcher just seems to run more fluid and more smooth on the device. But for example here, a lot of people aren't fond of TouchWiz. Some people love it. It's just one of those things that if you don't like TouchWiz, but you want your device running smooth, you might want to go with a different device. But anyway, be sure to follow these three steps that we went over to keep your device running smooth. And uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, tell us your thoughts on it, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. We always appreciate any new subscribers. And also be sure to visit our social networks. All that information will be in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in our next video.